beautiful, beautiful people of the internet. What a time to be alive. Windows 11 has leaked and in this video we are going to install it on my trusty old Lenovo T440p with the specification says on the screen. I had originally installed Linux on this laptop but I don't need it anymore so I decided to just try out Windows 11 on this machine as this is kind of my debug machine. So right now I just chose uh, to boot from an external uh, USB drive which contains the Windows 11 installation file. So as you can see on the screen the installation process has not changed since Windows 7. Uh, all you need to do is select your disks and uh, uh, if you want to reformat your drive you can do that and it is pretty, pretty much the same. Here I am deleting all my previous Linux partitions and I am going to install Windows on the entire drive as a fresh installation. Even though this is an old computer and an old hard drive, still the file copy process is really fast. We'll just speed up this part of the video because there is not much information being shown on the screen in this part. I think we need to speed it up more. copy process is complete the laptop reboots to a just a moment screen just like Windows 10 and let's see what uh, Windows 11 has for us okay so it goes to a white screen and there is a nice little animation of Windows logo and then we have to choose our region so United States of course I was trying to increase the volume of uh, the PC because I thought that Cortana might come up but I think they have disabled Co Cortana during the installation process for Windows 11 which is great. Now it is asking me to connect to the Wi-Fi and I think yes I will connect to the Wi-Fi. So let me just key in my Wi-Fi credential. <laughs> Okay, so connection has been established and now it is checking for updates. Uh, this is really great because even if this is not the final release candidate of the Windows 11 or maybe it is, I don't know, but it still connects to the Windows update servers and checks for updates. That is really nice. Yeah, so now it is asking me if I should use it as a work PC or a personal PC. So I'll go ahead with choosing the personal one. And I'll set it up for personal use. Yeah, now it is asking me to sign in using my Microsoft account, but I will use an offline account because I do not trust this leaked version. I don't know from where it has been leaked and if it is actually safe to use. So I'll just go ahead and make an offline account and just enter my name and no password because uh, that's the best thing to do. <laughs> so I just put on my name and I click on next. And when it asks me for my password, I'll just click on next. Now, of course, we are going to turn them all of these privacy settings because I really do not like Windows looking at my location or, you know, tracking me for something. I just do not want that. So I'll just disable everything and let's see. Okay, so now we are at the high prompt and now that it is getting things ready for us. So let's see what happens. Yeah, so people are actually talking about the screen that it looks like the PlayStation 2 is being booted up. Yeah, it, it, it there is a little bit of resemblance with the blue clouds and all. Okay, so we are almost there and the desktop comes up. Wow. 
I see that uh, the rumors are true and the start menu is now at the center of the screen <laughs> by default but I think we can change that yeah and uh, so just moving around the system it feels um, it feels quite nice and also the drivers were installed correctly for the um, display drivers in one go I mean it did not we did not have to wait for the display drivers to install after the system start started up so I think that is why uh, connecting to the internet uh, during the installation process is uh, a good thing to do so I just wanted to look at the DirectX diagnostics and just uh, check out that yes it is Windows 11 Pro 64 bit has been installed and it is correctly recognizing uh, the RAM and the CPU and everything is working fine so I think this is a usable system yeah it also recognized the display drivers correctly so yes we can use this uh, I think there might be some bugs in it but I think the overall core system should be okay and we should be fine with that now let us check out these taskbar settings and uh, yeah so once you go into the taskbar settings, I yes, we have uh, the new show widget icon, show widgets control and uh, so you can turn things on and off like it was there in Windows 10 as well and uh, fixing problems, making, uh, okay, making the start menu, opening the start menu, why does want anybody want to know how to open the start menu, <laughs> I mean <laughs> that is the first step right, so anyways and uh, yes so here we can set the taskbar back to the left corner and uh, I think it has already done it uh, so the scaling is set to 150% by default and uh, let me change it back to 100% because 100% is the best uh, it really offloads the CPU trying to scale applications to match the scaling uh, and it really improves the performance of the system so yes uh, let us uh, start uh, let us turn on the dark mode I really want to know how it looks with the dark mode and uh, so even after setting on the dark mode the the taskbar is still uh, using, uh, showing the light color so I think we need to restart this computer to fix that issue mm, but the uh, animations and everything is are really nice in the dark mode i think uh, they have done quite a lot of improvements in the visual side of things i don't know if they have changed much uh, on the underlying code or something but uh, the visual quality is really nice and also this old laptop is handling uh, the animations and everything quite uh, without breaking the sweat i mean there are no spikes in the cpu usage i don't see the fans running up or something it really is working fine uh, with that old machine so let us just uh, I think let us restart the system and then we can see how the dark menu, dark start menu looks like. As soon as the system turns on, it takes me to the desktop because I have not set a password and uh, the login is quite quick. And as you can see the colors on the taskbar has been fixed and uh, now it is showing a proper dark UI color and uh, it is also transparent which is uh, looking really nice and um, the icons are showing a small blue dot when <laughs> when the window is open it looks like they copied it copied some of the ui elements aspect from uh, mac os uh, yes the edge uh, browser is also uh, uh, using the dark ui prop properly but let us see uh, some other okay so, so the device manager is still showing a white window which is again broken <laughs> broken UI I think that when we try to delete a file or something also it will the pop-up pop -up will be in a white <laughs> white backdrop I I hope they fixed it oh god let, 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 let us see that okay now trying to delete oh my god <laughs> <laughs> why can't Microsoft fix this in one go why can't the UI be dark in for every pop-up and throughout the system oh my god what is wrong with these people I hope I just hope that the final build is properly tuned and the uh, the sorry the dark UI actually comes out well 
Ah, yes, one more thing that we see here that the uh, Windows uh, snapping options, are, I think, have changed. Uh, I s remember seeing some videos on the on the in internet where uh, if you uh, hover on the maximize button, then you get options to stack uh, Windows. Uh, yes, so yes, here we go. And uh, here it goes. We see that we can stack Windows uh, on the screen and uh, Okay, I mean, I don't know how many people use that feature, but I think it, it it's nice. It is easy to do. Uh, I hope these are not the only things that have been changed in this OS and we actually see some other things that are actually good uh, new improvements to the OS. But this is nice. This is, this is a nice feature anyways. I mean, um, it's better than nothing. So... <laughs> yes it looks nice okay so going to update and security let us check it out ah so it is actually going to the update store uh, the, the windows update uh, store and actually finding a lot of updates for that os which is good update store the, yeah, uh, what does it call it is it called update store i don't think so i, I think update windows look i don't know I don't know uh, anyways ah, activation so yes uh, this machine has been activated with a digital license that is nice <laughs> so windows 11 pro that this machine is was a professional laptop and i actually fixed it. Uh, it it was in bad shape but i fixed it in my spare time and it runs quite nice so i think that is why windows 11 professional got installed auto automatically on the system and uh, it also got act act activated as well which is really really nice so windows activation is working even though the windows has a windows 11 has not actually been released uh, to the general public and this is a leaked version and uh, and yes yeah they have replaced command prompt and powershell and now they call it the terminal so if you right click on your desktop and you will see an option called open in terminal and you, you can actually run c commands on the terminal so that is another uh, nice thing uh, i guess uh, wow there are some cosmetic improvements to the start menu as well uh, now there are uh, now we have uh, pinned icons and recommended uh, locations and uh, stuff going on so yeah i think that is all the time that we have for this video i think you guys you liked it if you do if you did then please give me a thumbs up and uh, as it is microsoft windows it is asking me for a restart and i'm going to restart the system and test it out further so thank you for watching this video have a great time